Okay, so I've got a set of these uh, TP-Link AV600 power line adapters and today I'm trying to find out um, if they are an improvement on a older power line adapter. Now, at the moment, I'm running a, uh, I think they're Solwise, a Solwise 85 Mbps adapter. So just going to have a look to see what speeds we're getting on this adapter uh, but first what I'm going to do is uh, I have my computer hardwired directly into the router i.e. not going through these power line adapters so I'm just going to run a speed test on that just to see what we're getting from a direct connection to the router first of all okay so I'm just going to run a speed test on fast.com this is on my computer which is directly wired into the internet or the router should I say and that's given us a speed of 15 megabits just going to run it again just one more time or a couple more times and there we go yet yeah, 15 give it one more time just for the benefit of the doubt and that's 16, okay. Now I'm gonna to go to the TV downstairs which is connected through the old 85 megabit Solwise power line adapters and uh, let's see what speed we're getting there. Okay, so I'm running the same test on the TV via the Solwise adapters and as you can see they're 9.9 .9 megabits so there's obviously a bit of loss there let's just give it another try just to see and once again oh 10 megabits no nope. it's a bit up and down 7.7 .7 that time and give it one more test just to make it fair as I've done three tests upstairs and 6.7 that time okay so now I'm going to unplug the, uh, the Solwise 85 megabytes, uh, megabits uh, connectors or power line adapters and uh, plug in the TP-Link ones. I'm just going to pause this video while I do it. Right, so there we go. I've plugged that one in there and I'm just going to plug the other one in downstairs. Okay, so I'm, I've plugged in the TP-Link adapters. I'm just going to rerun the test again just to see the difference. Okay, so we've got 14 megabits that time. Let's uh, try again. And there we go, 15 megabits that time, megabytes that time. And let's try it another time, another go. And there we go, 14 that time. So th there is a significant improvement there. So there we go, the results are in. So it does look like if you're running a pair of older home plug connectors or power line adapters, then yes, it probably is worth updating them to newer ones. They do tend to, uh, to make a difference. Okay, there you go. Hope this guide helps you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.